Sam is desperate to fit in at her school. She thinks because she's Indian, she doesn't belong. She thinks she has to hide herself. She thinks that she needs to reject her Indian culture and her family just to fit in and be like everyone else, including her old best friend who also was Indian. That is until one day, this mythological, demonic, Spirit known as the Passage latches itself onto her former best friend. And then when her former best friend goes missing, it starts to eat away at Sam. And the Passage starts to attack Sam and everyone she knows and loves. That is until Sam realizes she has to give in to her Indian heritage and learn more about her her ancestors, to defeat this evil spirit. That is the premise of the new neon horror movie, It Lives Inside. This movie is fantastic. It's airy, it's creepy, it's dark, it's brooding. <laughs> it's bubbling with talent. It has fantastic performances, amazing sets. Ooh, the creature, they don't use it too much. They have it come and go. And, and shadows and shrouds. You don't see it too much. And it builds to the mystery. And the kills are brutal. And it doesn't rely on cheap jump scares. And airy music. And whatnot like current horror movies do. This movie is unique and one of a kind. And bubbling with Indian heritage. Which is fantastic. There should be more horror movies like this. Other horror movies. And directors and writers. Learn from this and become like it. Adapt to be good and unique like this movie. I had the pleasure of checking this movie out before the San Diego Comic Con. And then I had the pleasure to sit down with the film's director, Bichelle Dada, who also co-wrote the movie. I have a YouTube video up of that junket right now at YouTube. Check out at Movie Toast News and Reviews over there. Or search for It Lives Inside Buttery Junket. And you'll learn a lot more about this movie and see how much passion the director has. And it's a first-time director and writer, and he kills it! And check out my podcast, Movie Toast News Reviews. Thank you, and please stay toasty.